Good evening. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Glassport. At least one person has been shot, and that is just where this story begins. Erica Stanish has been on the scene since shortly after the shooting. Erica. Yeah, there are two scenes here about a half a mile apart, and you can see right behind me caution tape surrounding this area on Ohio Avenue, where police say a man was shot several times. Now, police tell me this is the first shooting in Glassport this year. Allegheny homicide detectives were called to the scene to assist in this investigation around 730 this evening. Police say the shooting started here on Ohio Avenue and ended on Indiana Avenue. Authorities believe the victim ran to a home on Indiana Avenue to get away. I talked to a woman who says her daughter was inside an apartment there where the shooting allegedly ended and is not allowed to leave. The woman says there were at one point young children in the apartment as well. Police could be seen there earlier investigating around the apartment building where more detectives quickly showed up and appeared to be telling a person in the alleyway not to move. Neighbors who live nearby say they're shocked to see this happening outside their windows, but told me this area has only gotten worse over the years. This used to be a nice town until I'd say the past 10 years and um, unfortunately drugs have moved into the town and um, they're more or less taken over the town. It's very upsetting this close to home. I mean it's things like this that make you want to sell your home and move. Now also happening here tonight around 10:15, a store clerk here at the original hotspot convenience store noticed a car running in the parking lot with kids inside. She was closing up for the night and began asking those in the area if they owned the vehicle. After multiple people said no, police here at this shooting scene were notified. You could see one of the officers attempting to talk to one of the kids inside the car before the driver showed up several minutes later. That woman told police she was meeting with family members who were at the shooting shooting scene. Police arrested her and took her into custody. Now that vehicle is still here right now, but another family member came and picked up the kids. Now in the meantime, police say the man that was shot was taken to a local hospital where he is in critical condition. And at this time, there are no suspects as far as we know. And you can stay with KDKA on this developing story. Again, police still actively investigating this scene right here behind me, and we'll keep you updated both on air and online. Reporting live in Glassport, Erica Stanish, KDK News.